Hello experts. Now imagine there is a situation where you run a query again and again. So what will you do? Do you type the query again and again? So you might say, okay, Arun, we have the answer. What we will do is we'll type the query, we'll save the SQL worksheet, and then we can invoke the worksheet. Now tell me this thing, how good will it be if you can save the SQL query within your SQL developer where you don't need to open a SQL script file? Amazing, right? So how do we do it? So first of all, we need a query that we want to store inside the SQL developer. So let me try and pull up a good query. So let us go with jobs table. I'll click on the jobs table. Great, so we have the jobs table. Let's go to data and I'm just seeing what kind of query we can create. And let us filter the data again. I want to see all the job titles where their minimum salary is above 5000. So at this stage, what you can do is just right click anywhere. You can save this output as a report as well from here. But what I'll do is I will go to the SQL worksheet and query the table. So select star from jobs where what is the column name? Max salary where max underscore salary is greater than 5000 and I'll highlight run this one. Perfect. So we have this result. What we can do is now right click on this and then choose create report option. Now this query is being saved as a report inside your SQL developer. What you need to do is just give the name of the report. So I will call it as jobs where salary is greater than 5k. Pretty simple, right? Just click on apply. Now where are these reports saved? So if you go to this section that is called as reports, the first section we were dealing was connections and this is reports section and if you see this user defined reports this is where all your reports whichever report you save nothing but it's an sql query that is being saved so all those sql queries will reside over here just double click on this one it will ask you on which database or against which schema you want to run this query so select the schema from the drop down i'll run it against the hr schema click on ok and now this is your output this way, it makes your life more easy for developers where they want to quickly refer to a table with multiple conditions. Now, when the developers are creating new programs, they sometimes want to access data where salary is less than $100,000 or salary is greater than $100,000. Now, for all those conditions, understand how difficult will it be for them to write those queries again and again, again and again, to create those programs. Now it makes their life easy because they can store as many reports as they want inside the SQL developer and just click and see the data and that helps them to create great PLSQL programs. This was the simplest introduction to the reports guys inside the SQL developer. Now there are a lot of other types of reports. What I will do is for you guys, I'll add some reading material below this video so that you can go ahead and look at different other types of reports that you can create inside the SQL developer. That's it for now. See you in the next lecture.